In this video, we'll be looking at Enga 2020, section 1, question 20. So, we've got a quadratic equation here. 2x squared minus px minus 4 equals 0. We know that p is positive, and that this equation has two solutions that differ by 6, and we're asked to find p. So, how are we going to start this? Well, let's have a go at finding our solutions. Now, we can't really factorise it. It would be a bit difficult with our unknown variable p here, but we can use something else. So, what are we going to use for that? Well, well, let's use the quadratic formula. So, that's x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And from this, we can just substitute in our uh, a, b's and c's. So that's our first coefficient, second coefficient, and third. So, that'll be p plus n minus the square root of p squared minus 4 times 2 times minus 4 all over 2 times 2. You can simplify that down. 2 is p plus or minus the square root of p squared plus 32 over 4. So what's going to be our next step? We know that these are going to be our solutions here. We know our two solutions differ by 6. So if we set 1 minus the other, the answer is going to be 6. So if we do that here, our plus, uh, plus 1 minus our minus 1, which makes this plus again, that's going to be our answer. That's the difference between the two. It equals 6. So we can just simplify this down again. That gets us to p plus p uh, squared plus 32 all square rooted minus p plus the square root of p squared plus 32 equals 24. We've just times it by 4. We can then simplify this down again into uh, 2 root of p squared plus 32 is 24. Divide through by 2, we get the square root of p squared plus 32 is 12. We can then square it. We get p squared plus 32 is 144. Take away 32 from each side. p squared is 112 and then square root it. So our p is the square root of 112. Now this is right, but it's not one of our answers on our answer sheet. So we need to simplify this down a bit more. So how can we do that? Well, let's just take out square numbers we know are factors. So we've got root 4 times 28. And we can do this again with our 28. So it's root 4 times root 4 times 7 for our final answer of 4 root 7. And that corresponds to answer B. So that's our final answer there.